Hi guys, uh, this is Dan, the Bowtie Wander. We're here with uh, Matt from the Beer Research Institute out in Mesa. First craft beer I had ever had was, uh, was Fat Tire from New Belgium and was just uh, amazed by the complexity of the flavor, uh, just the general flavor profile of it. And uh, it was super easy to drink, but yet it was complex. And you know, some buddies of mine lived uh, across the street from Four Peaks, so um, wandered into there one day, and you know, that was really kind of the, uh, that's, that's really what hooked me was, um, not necessarily the, the, the beer per se, I mean, the beer was, was great, but it was the, the experience, it was the whole package, it was that brew okay. bug, it was, yeah. it was that, you know, everything was made right there. And, you know, if anybody can do it, I, I should be able to figure it out, right? Yeah. So I get this kit and um, I make my first batch of beer and it was absolutely horrible. Okay. Um, and I drank every drop of it because I made it <laughs> yeah. and, and, uh, and I got lit. <laughs> anybody that's getting free beer, yeah. loves free beer uh, and they will tell yeah. you it's the best beer <laughs> so, ever um, so what we want is we want a third part, party impartial um, judgment of that beer and, okay. we, and we got that yeah and so when we started getting more and more of that we, we we said okay well you know you know let's look at doing this so okay. the way it happened is that as we were going around the country and visiting all these breweries We'd, uh, you know, I'd be in a brewery in Colorado, and you know, I'd, I get a, I get my beer, and I'd get the, you know, the menu board behind me, and I'd take a selfie, and I'd send it to Greg, and I'd, you know, say, you know, hey man, I'm conducting research, and he would do the same thing, and um, and then we'd be here locally, we'd be down at Santan or Four Peaks, and we'd be drinking beers, and you know, our wives would text us and be like, you know, hey, uh, where are you guys at? What are you doing? And we'd yeah. say, we're, you know, we're conducting research. We'll be home later, you know. Yeah. Um, that's a tough one because we do so many new beers all the time. So if, if it's a new beer and, and we're super stoked on it, we're gonna we're gonna send them in that direction. But the go-to day in day out, um, the one the my baby, the one that we hang our hat on every day is 480G uh, IPA. It's a double West Coast IPA. It's uh, it's dry. It's eight percent and it's hot with Simcoe and Amarillo. Um, if you can't do it from scratch, don't do it, right? Okay. So we take the same approach to our beer as well. So we use um, we use the best quality malts. We use the best quality hops we can find. Um, we do make a lot of fruit beers. So yeah. when we make a fruit beer, we use real fruit. We use whole fruit. We typically go out and pick that fruit. Yeah. Um, you know, we have uh, our summer fruit beer series. We've got Mango Unchained, which is a, a double mango IPA. Um, we use whole mangoes in that. Um, mm -hmm. Every year we do the peach lolly, uh, which is the peach version of our Imperial Belgian Blonde. We go to Schnepp Farms, we pick hundred, hand pick hundreds of pounds of peaches. We don't walk in and yeah. buy a crate of them. We go out and we pick them from the orchard. Um, and then we come back and we clean them and we, and we prep them and we throw them in the beer.